In this video, I'm going to talk about queues in Dynamics 365 customer service. Now, uh, what is a queue? Queues are containers to store anything that needs to be completed or requires an action to close a task or a case. Now, queues are mainly used in the context of a case. However, you can use queues for any other entities as well. There are predefined set of entities which are by default uh, enabled and it allows you to make use of queues. You can also create a custom entity and then you can assign a queue to it. Now, what exactly is our queues? Now, queues are used to organize, prioritize and monitor the work progress. Okay, so let's assume you have a set of cases or an incident being reported by your customer. Now, what you can do is you can put all those cases in a queue and then the queues are monitored by work agents. Now you can create n number of queues. Uh, queues is automatically created for each user and team. You know, now whenever you create a new user within your system, uh, by default a queue gets created for them. And also, uh, if you create a team within Dynamics 365, uh, a queue will get automatically provisioned. Now these queues are called as system queues. Now apart from that, you can also create your own queue. Okay, now there can be two types of queues. One is public and private. Private queues are confined to a set of, uh, say, members. Public can be like, uh, it is not confined to any set of restrictions. Okay, now what are the different actions you can do is you can add an item to the queue. You can pick an item from the queue to work on. You can remove an item from the queue. You can release the item to the queue you can route to another queue you can assign to a user or a team now uh, there are different ways through which uh, views through which you can uh, monitor the queue so like the views are like items working on items available to work on so these are basically the theoretical component for queues now queues are mainly used as i said to you in the context of a case so which i'm going to demonstrate uh, now Okay, so now, uh, as you see here, I'm in the customer service hub, okay, and uh, I have opened two applications, one is customer service hub, and another one is a customer service admin center. Now, first, let me navigate you to one of the components within uh, the customer service hub under service called as queues, okay, so here, if you see the queue, you will see that uh, there are, uh, there's an interface which has an all items, or you can select cases available to work on, okay? Now you can select different views and then all the queue item will be displayed over here. Now cases I'm working on, okay? Okay, items available to work on and items I'm working on. So these are the different set of um, queue which an agent can see, okay? These are basically the views, okay? Now here, if you see, in the drop down you will see all the queues which are uh, part of this particular system okay you can see there are uh, team two team three now these are specifically teams you know if you create a team i told you that there will be by default uh, queue created for that team uh, and these are a couple of uh, queue which i have created like queue info officers and queue agent officers and this is like all queues so if you want to see the ticket uh, or the cases or an incident which belongs to all queue, you can view it over here. Okay. Now, if you want to see queue agent officers, you can see the list of uh, queue agent officers. But then again, it is filtered on items I'm working on. If I say all items, then you will see all the queue agent officers tickets. If I say like queue info officers, you will see all the items belonging to queue info officers. And also, you can see if any of the queue item belongs to say team two or not. Okay. So this is how you navigate to the queues now this is basically an agent will do now day in day out what agent can do is first they will come here uh, and then they will first select uh, cases uh, i am working on to see any uh, cases which they are currently working on and which belong to say all the queues okay now for this agent there's nothing okay now they can pick and choose from items available to work on Okay, so these are the items which uh, are currently available and then I can pick uh, any of the cases in the system. Now, 
if I select say one case, okay, then what I can do is like if I want to make this case mine, okay, if I want to work on this case, the action which I can do is I can do a pick. So what I'm going to do is like for this, I'm going to pick. And now what it says that you have selected one item, item will be assigned to you to work on. Also remove the item from the queue. Now I can say yes or no, but I'll say let it remain in the queue, but I will pick this up. Okay. Now, once I pick this item, this item now belongs to me. Okay. Now I need to work on that case. Okay. Now, if I click say other case, okay. And then I say, okay, let me release this item to the queue. Okay. Now, if I click on release this item, it says, do you want to release the selected item? Now the item will be assigned back to the queue owner for the other members to pick up. Now, what exactly it says is that this queue item was already assigned to an owner. Now it has been a part of the queue. Now, if you release this, this will be again released back to the original owner. So let me release this item. Okay. The other action which I can do over here is like, I'm just picking some random ticket. Okay. I can remove this item from the queue. Now, if I click on remove, it says, do you want to remove the selected item from the queue? I say remove it. Okay, so this item will be removed from the queue. Now, if I select this item and I say, see the queue item details, I will see some things over here. Now, when I say queue item detail, it will show me who is working on this case. Okay, now I can assign it to say a team or some user. Okay, I can pick up any user or I can pick up any team. Now, let me close this first. Okay. Let me do one thing. Let me pick this item, surface book error. Okay. Now, once I do that and I say pick, okay. Now this will be basically in my queue. Okay. So let me select this, say cases I'm working on. Okay. If I go to cases I'm working on, I can see surface book error. Let me tick here and see the queue item details. Now watch what happens. The worked by field is automatically populated by my name. Now, why this has happened is because this is my case. I'm working on it. So that's my, I'm the owner. Okay. Now, let me close this. Now, what I can do, I can say, hey, I don't want to work on it. Maybe I'm not the right person to work on it. Let me release this item. Okay. And I will release this item. Now, the moment I do that, this item will be gone from here. Okay. Now, again, going back to that item, where did that item go? If I see the queue item details now, worked by is blank. So that means it is open for this queue. Anyone can pick it. Okay. So this is how you can do an operation on the queue. But the main question is how do we create a queue? Okay. Now in the customer service hub interface, we can't, we don't have an option to create a queue. Okay. For that, you need to do it, go into customer service admin center. Now, how do we can navigate? You can, you need to click on the app section and then you can navigate to customer service admin app the moment you do that under queues you have an option which says basic queues use queues to monitor and organize the work let me click on manage and now here i can create a queue now i have already created two queues i can create multiple other queues i can also see the number of items within that queue. so let's go ahead and create one queue and i'll call this queue as a vip queue Type is public or private. Let me make this as say maybe private. Okay. What is the incoming email? Okay. Which uh, I need to provide. So take for example, if you have any email address, okay, which you have already defined, I can put that email address and I can uh, say VIP at say my company name, okay, abc.com. I can put that as an email address and then that will become, so any email received on that VIP mailbox, will be deemed as like a VIP queue. And then I will be able to operate on that queue, but I'm not going to put anything as of now. Uh, and I can put some description over here. Under email setting, I can say convert incoming email to activities, all email message or email message in response to D365 email or no email messages or other options with regards to leads, contacts and account. Uh, let me say all email messages. 
and I can pick up the email signature. Now email signature, again, I've created a separate video for that. You can go ahead and watch uh, in my channel, but let me select some email signature and then I can click on save. So this is just a demonstration to show you how to create a queue. Once you create a queue, you will be able to see the items which is part of that queue, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, here, uh, let me go into say one of the case and see if I can assign say this item to a queue okay now how do we assign this to queue you click on the cases the line item and you say add to queue okay and I can search for queue the queue which I have recently added is VIP queue I click on add so this is one of the way to add an item to the queue now let's see is there any other option Okay, now if I select any of the item over here and if I say assign, assign will make someone an owner to it. So assign to either me or a user or a team. Okay, now if I click off user or a team and if I pick say search for this item over here, let me see if I can find that VIP you or not. Now I don't find that because this VIP queue is not a user or a team. So you can either assign it to user or a team or to yourself, okay? So let me pick myself over here and I can click on assign. Now I have, with this action, with the action of assign, I will not be able to assign it to a queue, but we need to make use of add queue item over here, okay? Now we have added one item into the VIP queue. Let's see if that item appears or not. Yes, that item appears over here. And you can also add members to this queue. Now I'm the one person over here. I can add existing users. I need to find the users. Now I don't have any specific users, so I will not be able to find that. But you can add, you know, like uh, members over here. Now let me see if I can add a team member over here. Okay, I can't add a team over here because it has to be a proper member who belongs to some business units over here right and uh, once you're done that you can add members to that queue now this is how you create a queue now going back to the back end model now i'm in the make.powerapps.com now queue is uh you can not only assign it to a case but you can assign it to some other entities as well so you can assign it to a lead as well you can add a lead to the queue okay now how do you do that against an entity if you go to properties under properties if you go into that edit table screen go to advanced option you see an option over here it can say can be added to a queue if you select this then you can add a lead to a queue okay so here if you see the info it says can be added to a queue info the moment you click on this then and save up here then this lead can be added to a queue so i'm just showing you how you can add other entities to a queue apart from case okay so i'll just cross that out uh, and if you go into cases you will see that by default this is ticked so that means case has already been enabled to be added to queue and that's why you are able to add that item into a queue and further you can select this option where it says when rows are created move them to an owner's default queue so that means if i am the person who is creating a case item then by default this will be assigned to a queue and the queue is named after me so remember i told you any user you create in the system will have their own default queue and any team you create in the system it will have their own default queue so this option is basically telling that if any system is uh, system case is being created then assign back to that owner's default queue so that queues uh, so that case is always part of some or the other queue by default okay now here you have in the back end you will see the queue table so there is a queue table which will list down all the uh, members uh, for queue so I, I told you right any user you create within the system now these are like all the system users queue okay and the queue which we have recently created should also appear over here so you see vip queue so all the queue items will be shown in queues okay so this is like the queue which is being created within the system but if you want to see what exists within that queue there is an another table called a skew item okay so this is a specific item in a queue such as a case record or an activity record okay or it can be any other custom record as well 
okay so that's it folks this is all about uh, dynamics 365 q so q is again basically a container to store some information and that information can be worked upon thanks for watching